In the beginning, there was nothing, and then Tim Berners-Lee created something called hypertext markup language, and suddenly we could create web pages on something called the World Wide Web. But this web didn't look very nice, the web pages were very basic, and the different HTML elements like headings and paragraphs relied on the browser to style them. As the web took off, a better solution was needed to create web pages that were not only visually appealing, but were intuitive to use as sites grew increasingly complex. Let's get out of here. This is why cascading style sheets, CSS, was invented as a way of more dynamically styling elements through two parts, a way to select elements based on their type or even a class, and then a way of styling those selected elements with things like font, color, background color, padding and layout style. But the main problem with CSS for me, it was just too complicated. You end up with these big style sheets full of selectors and properties, and before you know it, your project's turned into an unmaintainable mess. That's one of the reasons that prevents back-end developers like me from getting into front-end. Fortunately, there's a solution. One of my main gripes with CSS is the classes that you have to create and apply to elements. For example, button. But then if you want a slightly different button on a different page, you might have button homepage, button blue, button slightly different shade of blue. When you're trying to create a website, all these classes become messy and unmaintainable to a point where you don't want to work on front end anymore. Well, that's the painful reason that I spent over a decade avoiding front-end development. But in the last few months, I've discovered something that's made building front-end websites an absolute pleasure. I'll be honest, when I first found out about this, I was skeptical because it throws away the whole idea of coming up with class names and carefully applying them to elements and putting all your styles in a separate document called a style sheet. But after a few months using this new system called Tailwind CSS, I'm beginning to see the light. So the great thing about Tailwind CSS is that you have all these classes that you can apply to your elements and you apply them in line. For example, if you want to set the text color as a certain shade of blue, there's a class for that. If you want to add a small amount of padding, there's a class for that. If you want your button to have rounded corners, there's a class for that too. Tailwind CSS basically gives you classes for any kind of styling you'd ever want to do. In a shorthand syntax, that means when you apply these classes to elements, it's not a complete mess. And yes, when you notice you start to repeat yourself with the same classes again and again, you can extract those classes into a common class to keep everything neat and tidy. Well, even with the ability to easily apply styles to elements, there's still one big problem for backend developers like me, and that's how to actually style things in a way that looks nice. Well, that's where this next framework comes into place. I love the camera shops in Japan. Can I try it on my camera? Yeah. Wide angle lens, amazing. Daisy UI is an add-on for Tailwind CSS that takes all the headache out of figuring out how to style elements in a way that looks great. Let's say you want to create a button, well Daisy UI gives you a class for that and it automatically adds colors, rounded corners, hover and on-click styling to make it visually appealing even for anyone without special design skills. So whether you want to add buttons, form inputs, navigation bars, tabs, cards, footers, and tens of other different kinds of components, Days UI has you covered. And the best thing about Days UI is that you can just set a single property and choose from any of these themes, each of which looks great, but pick something that works for the style of website you're going for. And by using Tailwind CSS and Days UI to overcome the problems of CSS, even back-end developers like me can learn to love to code on the front end. And it's by getting familiar with multiple aspects of writing software that we can become better developers. See you in the next one.